Well, guys, I don't know. What's new, right? I don't fucking know. That moved kind of slow, but I was also kind of purposely doing that. I really just want to feel the weight out. I don't know. And then again, my knees bother me a little bit, but I think once I get my knee wraps on, that should kind of negate it. So I know last Sunday my plan was to work with 500 I just, I don't quite know yet. And I need to mention that I did a chest workout Monday. And when I was done, it was in the Smith machine again, which I've never done on flat. When I was done, my back, I did something to it. I don't know what. And ever since then, it's not like debilitating. Obviously, I can do squats and shit. But it's just enough to where it's like, should I try to work with 500 today? Mm, I don't know, man. I really don't know. So I'll throw full 55 on. And we'll kind of go from there. I do have one of my friends here working out with me. So, you know, maybe he'll be able to push me a little bit. He is camera shy. So he's not going to be in the, any of the videos. But maybe he'll uh, be able to push me. We'll see, though. I just I want to be smart here. You know what I mean? If I, if, if I feel like going up to 500 is not viable, then I'm just not going to do it. I'll work for 455 again. But, uh, yeah, so... Let me try 455 and go from there. You know what I'm thinking after that? <sighs> Honestly, fuck it. Let's go up to 500. That wasn't terrible. Um, I honestly, I don't know. I shouldn't have done that pause at the bottom. I like to warm up how I'm going to perform the reps. So unless I'm doing paused reps with 500, which I'm fucking not, <laughs> I honestly shouldn't have done that. But I was just trying to, I don't know, just really feel it, you know? Uh... Yeah, man, fuck it. We'll throw 500 on. My, my thinking is I'll at least do one set. Um, if it feels good, maybe try a second one. If it doesn't, if it just feels heavy, you know, because I haven't done it in so long, I'll go down and do some close feet, elevate my heels, and just do some reps. So we'll at least try one good, somewhat heavy set here and, uh, you know, see what happens. Thank <laughs> you. 
Ah. Uh. Well. What do you guys think? I don't know. That was I don't know, a little better than I thought it would be, honestly. But again, I feel like I say this all the time. If it wasn't for the fucking bar when it rolled down my back, I probably could have done that a little easier. Maybe got one more rep. I mean, I might have had one more rep in me anyways, but I just felt like it wasn't safe at that point. So I'll take six. It's not, not bad considering I haven't touched this in, it's been about a month. Um, I'm actually considering doing it again. <laughs> I'll sit on it for, you know, two, three, four, maybe five minutes. Even. <laughs> you got to take some good rest between these heavy sets. But uh, I'll figure it out. Let me rest on it. And uh, you guys will find out here in a second. I think we're going to call that good for today. <laughs> Holy fucking shit. How can I best explain this? It didn't really feel heavy. But it was just a tough set. If that makes sense. Ah, uh, Damn. Honestly though, I did six again. And I was not rushing anything. Kind of taking my time. Um, so... I mean, I'm fucking happy with it. Two sets of six for not touching this in about a month. Not bad. So my friend gave me his hoodie to try and see if that helped with the bar rolling. And honestly, I didn't even notice. So that's probably that probably means that it did help. I don't know. I didn't notice. So if it was rolling, maybe a little bit, because I do think on the last one, I had to bring it up a little. Um, I think it was better, so maybe I need to start wearing a hoodie every time. <laughs> yeah, man. I don't know. I might do a, one more lighter set here. Uh, again, I'll kind of let this set settle in, sit on it for a couple minutes, and and see if I even see if I even think it's worth it. I don't know. All right. You know, in hindsight, those two sets of squat were actually really good. Like I said, considering I haven't touched 500 pounds on squat, and it's been about a month, give or take, maybe a little longer, a little less, but 
Yeah, dude, it went really fucking good. So, you know, I just stopped at two sets. I was going to do a lighter set, but, you know, I was talking to my buddy and we were just like, you know what, let's just call it. I don't want to overextend myself here. I did two good sets, a little better than what I was even expecting. A lot of control. Like, if I really wanted to fucking go crazy fast, and I probably could have done seven, maybe even eight reps on a, on one of those sets. So, good control reps, two two sets of six. Fucking good, man. Um, now we're going to do a ton of reps here. So, I'm going to do, just like I've been doing every Wednesday, I'm going to carry that into today. And again, I've been meaning to do this on my other body parts, but it's just not the same. I feel like legs is the only one that can really, maybe chest, but when you start to get to the, the muscle groups that are smaller and you can't lift as much weight, I don't know, it's just, it just doesn't feel the same. It doesn't feel as good, you know? But anyways, so I'm going to do as many reps as I can, stay in position, stay in the machine, wait 10 or 15 seconds, and then get as many more, like, additional reps after that. And that's one set. We'll do that three times here. Probably no drop set because I'm going to get a lot of reps here. So, yeah, we'll do three sets, and it's going to be fucking brutal. I know that. So uh, let's get into it. If I, <clears throat> fuck, you know it sets hard when you can barely talk afterwards. Five was possible, but I got to remind myself I have two more sets like that. See, so, you know, I, I kind of don't want to blow my load on the first set, if you get what I'm saying. So, yeah, you know, I've heard some people talk about when you're doing machines like this, you know, you guys see I kind of wrap my arms around to get better leverage. And honestly, more power. But I've seen some people, you know, the science-based lifters, say that's better to grab the handle because it forces you to go a little lighter and get more isolation on your hamstrings. But I just don't feel as good, honestly, when I do that. When I wrap my arms around and kind of lock myself in place, I just, well, again, A, I can lift a little more, which is obviously always going to be better. For growth as long as it's in a good rep range but then b i just feel i feel it more so this is kind of where you know you can listen to other people's advice but it's not always going to you know translate to you if you get what i'm saying like you have to try things out some things might work other things might not but you get it you just got to try things for yourself so yeah i don't like grabbing the handles if it works for you you know, fucking do it. I don't like doing that shit though. But um yeah. Two more here. We're gonna cut down on the fucking chit chat and get this shit rolling. My workout partner is uh laying it into me pretty good right now, saying I'm talking too much, so we gotta get going here. <clears throat>
Yeah, that shit's working pretty good today. It's actually working really good, if I do say so. All right. One more, like. Whose fucking idea was this? This is stupid. I don't know if we're going to count that last rep officially. I didn't quite get it locked out, but it was definitely tough and effective. Shit. All right. We're done with leg curls. That's it. Let's move on to leg extensions. One set down. That's pretty tough already. Whew. All right. A couple more here. Damn, I did. Last set here, and we'll do some shoulders, dude. Oh. 
Uh, all right, that's it for legs, fucking done, let's go do some posing real quick, because today's going to be a little different, I forgot to mention that at the beginning, but I'll kind of explain why real quick once I get over there. You know, kind of sucks. These are some of my favorite pair of pants to wear. And I don't know if you guys can see. I fucking blew out the crotch. That sucks. Hopefully my my girlfriend can stitch them back together. Because I love these sweats. But, um, yeah. We're going to make this quick, too. Because my phone is already on 20%. So we're going to have to fly through this. Um, I've missed Friday's workout, actually. Because my truck broke down sucks you know kind of unforeseen things like that can happen it's just part of life so could make it in here friday which is supposed to be shoulders and back so today you know we hit our legs now that's well, you know once i'm done posing my legs we're gonna hit some shoulders nothing crazy probably just like eight or nine sets do some front delt work do some side delt and that'll be it but so yeah we're gonna throw shoulders in today as well so but like I said, my phone's on 20%, so we're going to have to make it kind of fast, which sucks. But let's see what we're dealing with here. Whew. The reveal. I, I will say, I like wearing shorts in here and seeing my legs when I'm training. But the reveal of dropping your pants and seeing your leg muscles after, you know, once your legs have been covered the whole leg workout. Kind of cool, you know what I mean? All right. Yeah, I can't even hardly move them. can't hardly flex them which is cool I mean got a great league workout they actually feel really good if I'm being honest but it's just there's so much blood in my quads it's hard to even flex them so you know like I said we had to make that pretty quick let's go get some shoulders going all right legs is done and since we kind of we did a lot for legs kind of I mean not kind of we expended a lot of energy. So I'm not going to do anything heavy here for shoulders. It's really just to kind of... I mean, don't get me wrong. We're, we're going to be working hard here. And it's definitely going to create some stimulus. And hopefully get some response from our shoulders to grow a little. But it's not going to be any heavy weight. You know, nothing crazy like that. No pressing. We'll do four sets of my favorite 
front delt exercise. Again, I still don't know what it's called. I really need to look it up. But for all of the all of you who have watched, you know what I'm talking about. It's the whole you get that good extra stretch and just flex it up. 15 to 20 reps here, four sets, and then we'll move on to something else, probably for side delts. <clears throat> I think that was 20 reps. If not, it was very, very close. So, you know, to try to bring it down around 15, I think I'm going to go up to the 35 pound dumbbells. And who knows? By the fourth set, that might be too heavy. I might have to bring it back down, but we'll at least try one set with the 35s. Alright, boys and girls. My phone is officially on 10% battery. So, I might not be able to record all the sets from here on out because I want to get a little bit of posing done at the end. Hopefully, I even have enough battery for that. We'll see. But, uh, I guess, I don't know. I, sh I should be able to get all the sets in. I just made to cut down on talking, which, you guys know, when I get to talking, it can kind of be hard. But, um, we'll try it. I'll try to shut the fuck up and just do the sets here. But, yeah, I went up to the 35s. Let's see how they feel. Holy shit. Dude, I know I sound like a broken record, but this exercise just fucking blows shoulder press out of the water. Now, again, I'll still do shoulder press every now and then just because I want to keep my strength up with it. And I still enjoy that exercise, but this, in terms of just feeling it, you know, way better. Um, and again, though, this is all about the stretch. Like, take your time when you're in that stretch position. Pick a weight that's not too heavy. If you have to rush getting out of that position just to get the weight up, it's too heavy, you know? Drop the weight a little bit. Take your time. I always explain it like you're loading into it. You know, you're loading, 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 and you flex it up. And uh, 15 to 20 reps and you should be good here.
What an exercise. Fuck. All right, front delts are done. Let's do a little bit of side delts now. You guys, I must confess, my front delts, they hurt, but in a good way, you know what I mean? Like they are just, I don't know, I finished that last set of the front delts. I don't know, it's been maybe two or three minutes and they are still just on fire. And it's not just like one of those burns or it's kind of like, uh, you know, it was good. It's one of those deep, deep fucking burns. Oh my God. I will admit it's going to make these next four sets, you know, a little more difficult than what they should be, I'll say. But it's side dealt, so, you know, it shouldn't affect it that much, but it will affect it a little. Just in terms of like overall fatigue and ability to really focus when something else is burning that bad it's kind of hard to you know what i mean but uh let's come to this first set i got the 40s i'm not gonna go crazy heavy here it's the last exercise of the day so i'm already kind of pretty fatigued kind of burnt out so you guys know on a seated slightly bent arm lateral raise you know i can work up to the 60s i just got the 40s today though we're gonna try to get good controlled reps Okay, guys, I want to say my phone is on 2%. So if the video just abruptly ends, you know what happened. My phone died. But I'm holding out hope that it makes it to where at least at the end I can get some quick posing in. And I mean quick. And then it will be done after that. But you know what? I'm going to do two more sets here. And I might not even record them. I might just shut my phone off that way at the end we can get some posing in you know what that's probably what i'll do so i'm gonna do two more sets not gonna get them on video though and uh, i'll see you guys around the back we'll get some quick posing done Thank <laughs> you. 